All right, this is Geometry, Chapter 7, Section 4, Similarities in Right Triangles. Um, there's a ton of information for this section, so make sure you pause and you write so that you can get it all down. The first item that we're going to talk about is the Theorem 7-3. If ABC is a right triangle, and your right angle is ACB, then CD is the altitude. Let me highlight that for you, boom. Then we can say that triangle ABC is similar to ADC. Triangle ABC is also tri similar to triangle CBD. And ACB is similar to C, D, C, B, D. A geometric mean is a proportion, any two positive numbers A and B, and a positive number X, such that A over X is equal to X over B. It's called a geometric mean. So corollary 1 to th theorem 7, 3, so we're going to add little components to it is the length of the altitude to the hypotenuse of the right triangle is the geometric mean of the lengths of the segments of the hypotenuse. <laughs> and then in real speak, it means if we have this scenario like we do in 7-3, then AD, which is this portion of the hypotenuse, and over CD is proportional to CD over DB. So the altitude of the hypotenuse goes in where the X is on our geometric mean. Another corollary, the second corollary is <clears throat> the altitude of the hypotenuse of a right triangle separates the hypotenuse so that the length of each leg is the geometric mean is the geometric mean of the length of the hypotenuse and the length of the segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to the leg. So let's see how that plays out here. A B over A C with the hypotenuse in the leg is equal to AC over AD. And AB over DB, sorry, AB over CB is equal to CB over DB. And the way that looks here is 4 over 2 is equal to 2 over 1. Where 4 is the hypotenuse of the big triangle and 2 is the hypotenuse of the smaller triangle. All right, so let's look at, um, sorry, our learning objective is to find and use relationships in similar right triangles, and I'll show you guys my method for finding triangle answers. So if I have this triangle here where I have a 21 to Y and 4 to X, All right, so the way I remember um, how to do these problems is I compare legs and hypotenuses. So if I look, I have one big triangle. Let me get a normal pen. So I have one big triangle, and I have two little triangles.
Um, I have the, the tiny one here. And I have the medium one. Uh, below it. So if you go this, my big triangle is the hypotenuse is 21 plus 4, which is 25. The, um, the, the leg on the right hand side is X. It's really thick. Um, and then for my little triangle, his hypotenuse is X. And the long side is, or um, the side on over here is four. And then for my little, or for my medium triangle, his long leg is 21 and his short side is Y. So all my relationships will be based on these, um, all my proportions will be based on these guys. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna do the, deal with the first two triangles. So I'm gonna go 25, so my hypotenuse over X is equal to X, my hypotenuse and my little one, over four. So now I'm going to cross multiply, I get x squared equals 100, because that's 4 times 25. And I know x is going to be equal to plus or minus 10. Well, we can't have a negative distance, so x is going to be equal to 10. So once I know x, that over here because I'm actually solving for x. Then I can go y, so I'm going to use my proportions here. So I'm going to go um, 10. So I'm actually going to use this one. All right, so I didn't put one of the items right here, so this distance here for my little triangle is actually one. So now I'm going to use 4 and y and y and 21. So I'm going to go 4 over y equals y over 21. And I get y squared equals 4 times 21, well 4 times 20 is 80, and 4 times 1 is 4, so it's 84. Then we take the square root, and we get y is equal to square root of 84. And then we want to simplify square root of 84, so I know that is uh, 2, because 4 lives inside it times the square root of 21. All right, so y is equal to 2 root 21. 21 doesn't have a perfect square living inside of it. It is 3 times 7. Neither 3 nor 7 is a perfect square. So we are done.